Hello guys, now let's try to implement full adder by using the IC decoder IC 74LS138. We saw the truth table in the last video. So let's go to all groups and search for that IC. So it, you can search it in TTL as well. So but I can just type it easily. So 74LS138, which is this IC. You can see like these two ICs as well, but there OSC, if you see VCC and ground is not there. It is there actually, but it is hidden. So better take a IC which has VCC and ground, we can actually connect it. So now let's connect the easy components like VCC and ground. So VCC, this is VCC and ground. I prefer typing them and searching instead of going in each and every category, you know, so that it saves our time for instead of searching them. So first of all, let us connect the enable. So enable, this is going to be zero, this is going to be zero because this is active low, that's why it has to be zero. Ground will be obviously connected to ground, this, this is zero. Now this is active enable, so it will be connected to VCC. And this VCC will be connected to obviously VCC again. I'll just increase the size of it. Fine. So this was about it. Now let us place some keys. Instead of using some keys, let us use interactive drill constant. So you can go to sources, then drill sources and interactive drill constant and place it accordingly. So you can close it and first of all, you can double click on it and change some values. So suppose I want it to be A and you can just define, you can just, you know, have the values to be displaced that you want. So first of all, I'll just flip it or rotate it actually. So we got E, B and C accordingly. So I'll just copy it and paste it. And for copying and pasting, remember you need to stop the simulation. Then only you can copy them. Otherwise you can't copy them. So this is A, B and C, fine. This was easy. Now see, A is going to be our MSB because if we write this as 001, then the decimal value is one. If you write it as one zero zero, then the decimal value is four. So if M A is MSB and over here actually C is MSB and A is LSB. So if you want A to be MSB, we will connect A to the LSB value, which is C. This is a bit inverted thing, I know, but wow, this is just a bit, it is there in data So fine. So we connected A, B, and C accordingly, according to MSB and LSB thing. Now we have to connect Y one, Y two, Y three, Y four, and whatever the inputs are according to the sum. So see if you see this thing. The true table of sum, the min min terms are 1, 2, 4, 7. That is y1, y2, y4, and y7. So you have to connect them by using NAND, NAND gate. So just go to place component. You can select the NAND IC actually. So I know we can select the NAND gate block directly, but instead of that, I, I prefer IC because in laboratories we use IC. So you can just select 74LS00. And uh, which is the NAND IC. So this is the IC particular IC, not block. That's why I said I'm using IC and not the NAND gate. So this is the IC. Again, simply connections will be a ground and VCC, which are really easy to connect. Fine. I'll just place it a bit down. Yeah. And let's take it a bit away so that we can place the other things that we want. So fine. Now we want Y1, Y2. I think, wow, I forgot them now. So Y1247. So Y1 and y2 will take their nand so y1 and y2 and we'll connect this to the second input then we want the 4 so we took the output of this thing and we did its nand again and this output will be connected to this thing again which is the third gates input which will be now will be connecting 7 to it so 7 and now you just connect the output to sum, but I didn't took a probe, so I'll have to use a probe. If you didn't understand the connections for not, you can simply use a, sorry, NAND, then you can simply use a gate, remember, instead of using the IC, but ICs are more preferable, preferable obviously. So just close it. Okay, I'll place it again. I won't carry as well. So now you can close it. So this is sum, enter. So 3y was going to be sum so this is sum as we told now let us first of all verify if the sum is right or wrong so it's simulated for 0 0 0 obviously sum is 0 for any one of them 1 sum is 1 for any two of them to be 1 sum is 0 which is right and all the three one sum is 1 so i think it works perfectly fine now let us discuss about the carry so about the carry actually we have the midterms to be 3 5 6 7 again you have to connect them to the to them by using an gate. so you can just copy this and paste it and you have to use a NOR gate again. So I'll just place it a bit down. So 3, 5 and 6, 7, right? So you'll say 3, then 5, which is this thing. You'll connect this output of this gate to input of the other gate. Then you'll connect 6 to it. That is 3, 5, 6. You'll connect the output of 6 and the output of the previous NAND gate to the input of the third gate. 
this will be 7 now that is 3 5 6 7 so i think this line is of 7 so we can connect it to 7 and obviously vcc and ground are important so i think we can connect it to this vcc and ground will be this thing i know it looks a bit complex but it is really easy so this was vcc and ground i'll just decrease the size of it so that you can see the upper part yeah this is some this is just carry simply enter so sum and carry so now what you're going to do is simply simulate it and let us check for everything so i'll just close this window for everything to be zero sum and carry are both zero but wow i didn't connect it so how will it work so 3y will be connected to carry yeah now it may work so just stop it and simulate it again so for everyone zero sum carry zero for one the sum and carry is one for any two of them to be one sum is zero carries one so it is working perfectly fine one so obviously one and zero so it is working perfectly fine so that's all from my side thank you